This diagram shows us the internal female reproductive organs, which consists of vagina, uterus, a pair of fallopian tubes, and a pair of ovaries. In this subtopic, we would like to focus on the organ ovaries because this is the site of ovogenesis, which is a process to produce ovum or egg cell, which is in plural ova, which are the female gametes. This schematic diagram shows us how the female gamete or egg cell develops from the primordial follicles to be the ovulated ovum. This is a secondary oocyte found in matured follicle or the structure before ovulation. Secondary oocyte is produced along with first polar body after the meiosis one. In the cytoplasm of secondary oocyte, it consists of nucleus, which contains haploid set of chromosome. In human, the number of chromosome is 23. The cytoplasm of secondary oocyte is enclosed by a layer of plasma membrane, which show fluid mosaic model or phospholipid bilayer. Both first polar body and oocyte encased by a thick glycoprotein layer, which is zona pellucida. Both corona radiata and granulosa cells consist of follicle cells, which are produced by mitosis and arranged in layers. The layer of follicle cells that surround the secondary oocyte are called as corona radiata. And the layer of follicle cells that found in these matured follicles are called as granulosa cells. Ovogenesis is the process to produce the female gamete or the secondary oocyte after the meiosis one. The larger secondary oocyte is produced along with the first polar body after the meiosis one, and both are encased by the thick glycoprotein layer, which is the zona pellucida. Spermatogenesis or the process to produce spermatozoa is known as a continuous and prolific process. However, ovogenesis, the process to produce the female gamete, which is secondary oocyte, is a discontinuous process. This is because the ovogenesis begins at the embryo stage or before birth, but Arrested at prophase 1 means it will pause at prophase 1. And after birth, until the female achieves puberty, the meiosis 1 is resumed. Means the meiosis 1 will be completed. But the whole process of meiosis 1 and meiosis 2 will be completed when the secondary oocyte is fertilized by sperm. Ovogenesis begins before birth or during the embryo stage. Both ovaries of the embryo contains large number of diploid primordial germ cell. Each primordial germ cell will undergo mitosis to produce two diploid daughter cells, which are ovogonium. The diploid ovogonium are identical to each other and that they contain Germ cell in embryo stage will undergo mitosis to produce two oogonia, which has the same number of chromosomes with the primordial germ cell. The third month of embryo stage, each oogonium will undergo mitosis to produce two primary oocytes. The two primary oocytes are identical to each other and contains the same number of chromosomes with the ovogonium. Each primary oocyte will proceed to meiosis 1, but it will stop 
at prophase 1 or the meiosis 1 arrested at prophase 1. So in the infant of therefore the female are born with primary oocyte within small follicle in their ovaries and the primary oocyte are arrested at prophase 1. The small follicle containing the primary oocyte that arrested at prophase 1 will maintain until the female achieves puberty. At puberty, the anterior pituitary gland of the female begins to produce follicle stimulating hormone or FSH which stimulate the development of follicle in the ovary of the female. And each month or each menstrual cycle, only one follicle will become matured or one graphene follicle will form in the ovary. During each menstrual cycle or each month, with the hormonal control, one primary oocyte, which already arrested at prophase 1, will complete the meiosis 1 and produce two haploid daughter cells. However, the cytokinesis of meiosis 1 is unequal cytokinesis, which means the division of cytoplasm is not equal, and this results in a larger secondary oocyte with a smaller first polar body. The first polar body may or may not proceed to meiosis 2. However, if they proceed to meiosis 2, they will still in the larger haploid secondary oocyte will proceed to meiosis 2. But again, the process is incomplete because it will be arrested at metaphase 2. The secondary oocyte now is found in a matured follicle. Under the hormonal control of menstrual cycle, the haploid secondary oocyte is released from ovary into fallopian tube through ovulation. And the secondary oocyte is enclosed by a thinner layer of follicle cells. The rest of the follicle cells are termed as rupture follicles and under the hormonal control, this rupture follicle will develop into a corpus luteum. This tissue is degenerated if no fertilization occurs. Degenerated secondary oocyte or the secondary oocyte released into the fallopian tube is arrested at metaphase 2 and the meiosis 2 is resumed or completed with the fertilization of sperm. So when the sperm able to penetrate the phospholipid bilayer and reach at the cytoplasm of the secondary oocyte, the meiosis 2 is completed by producing two haploid cells which are ovum and second polar body. And again, the cytokinesis of meiosis 2 is unequal. So the ovum has larger size due to the larger cytoplasmic volume and the second polar body has smaller size. So this is the ovum with the haploid nucleus which contains the 23 chromosomes and the second polar body will be disintegrated eventually.